What's going on, folks? Matt here with Texas Edge Home Inspections. Today, I want to talk to you about bonding metal gas pipes and metal water pipes. In a house that has metal water pipes, you want to make sure that those metal pipes are bonded to the home's grounding system. So what does that mean? Well, we, we never want those metal water pipes to become energized, so we want them to have a bond. A grounding wire is attached and clamped to the metal water pipes themselves and then attached to the home's, bonded to the home's grounding system. Same thing for the gas pipes. Okay, in the case of a home that has metal water pipes and natural gas applied to it, such as this one, and we have a water heater here, a gas-fired water heater. This is a really good place to make that bond. Let me go in here and show you, because this one's actually done right. Take a look. Here is where you see the ground wire coming in. It is attached to the metal gas piping right here. Okay, so that's nice and tight, uh, and it is attached, so that's properly bonded. Now, if we look up, this house has copper water pipes, and if we look up both this, this grounding wire is uh, uh, clamped once over here on the cold side and once over there on the hot side. This is called a bonding jumper because this is making sure that both of the metal uh, cold pipes and the hot pipes are both grounded properly or bonded properly rather. There's several different places where these bonds can be made, but this is a really good one to find all of them in one place like this. Anyway, hey, something good for a change. Matt with Texas Edge Home Inspections. I'm gonna go finish up inspecting this property. Hey, give me a call because I wanna inspect your next house. Bye now. Hey you guys, thanks for watching. Please feel free to like and share. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, head on over to YouTube and hit subscribe.